Hokimaya North, welcome back. Plans are underway to scrap and replace two visa categories which have seen $12 million invested in New Zealand over the last decade. The government claims the changes will put more money in the pockets of Kiwi companies, but a top immigration lawyer says the country could lose billions in investments. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. Hands up if you invested your way into New Zealand. Kim.com hands down one of the most famous, celebrating his residency with a bang. But how he got through the door is being thrown out the window. Ensuring that those who choose to come into New Zealand and seek residency under this investor class actually add value to our companies, to our communities and eventually our country. The government doesn't like that half of migrant investment goes directly to shares or government bonds, which is what Kim.com did. So it's scrapping the Investor One visa, which requires a $10 million investment over three years, and the Investor Two, which is $3 million over four years, and replacing them with the new Active Investor visa requiring $5 million, 50% of which has to be in active investments in companies. And there's a $15 million minimum threshold for non-active investments. There's also now an English language test requirement. If you're investing in a New Zealand business, you need to be able to communicate in a way that adds value as well. I think it is killing the goose that laid the golden egg and throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Immigration lawyer Marcus Beveridge says New Zealand may as well kiss goodbye to billions of dollars. We would anticipate that very few investors will come to New Zealand under this new regime. National says it's not just the initial investment at stake, but what migrant investors do when they're here. They're putting at risk another 30 to $45 billion over 10 years on what really is a hunch not based on any actual evidence. I don't think I need to speak to uh, migrant investors at this point to, to understand what we need as a country to grow our business ecosystem. The issue is there isn't hard evidence about what migrant investors do when they get here. And the government says these changes will ensure Kiwi businesses benefit. But the gamble is putting off investors altogether. Amelia Wade, News Hub.